It's the city game. And the city is New York. And in the city of lights and glitter, there is no hotter ticket. And in a city of celebrities, tonight there are no bigger stars. It's a simple attraction. It's the top team in America, the St. John's Redmen. It's the defending national champion, Georgetown Hoyas. It's gold medalist, All-American Chris Mullen. And his Olympic teammate, Patrick Ewing. It's little Louis Carnesecca and his lucky sweater. It's Big John Thompson, adorned with his ever-present towel. It's quite simply number one versus number two. And ESPN is proud to bring you this very... Six foot seven from Baltimore, Maryland, number 34, Reggie Williams. St. John's won't have to worry about his outside zone breaking. Walter Berry, there's the first turnover. Bad play by Walter. Force. Jackson watched Mullen behind him. We played him in and a half. Ewing goes cross country. Reggie Williams. Well, he just matched his output from the last game. That's all Reggie Williams got last time. And here he ties 4 0. And Luke Harness second. Keep him on his jump shot. Didn't even go home. We played two minutes, another turnover, and Georgetown is about to go up six to nothing. Weddington's trying to bump Ewing out a step or two further, taking him out of his range. Reggie Williams, 11 to six. 40 now remaining in the first half. Just beat the timeline. It was 36 on the shot clock. Second time he's done that. Now St. John's loses it again. Here goes Reggie Williams against Willie Glass for the stop. First time tonight. Two compliments to John Thompson. The box and one shaking St. John's up and getting Patrick in deep as often as they can. Inside of a minute now. The dream game has turned into a bit of a first-half nightmare for St. John's. Reggie Williams puts the... Arrow will flip-flop. The only jump balls we have to start a game and to start an overtime. Billy Wellington pinned the trap down. Mark off. But Reggie Williams having the game of the year connects for 17 points. Little humor, relax them. Well, it's blocked by Ewing. A major league block. Here come the Hoyas flying. McDonald nearly traveled oh, twice oh. and scores it. Turnover right away. Billy Weddington going for the home run. Who have been number one all season long, and Georgetown wants it back. Mullen isn't ready to concede it. On a 2 3, left them alone. You might see them going back to that attack. Box and one. Reggie Williams answers. Everybody stuck up for you, though, <laughs> on the truck. I don't think he did. I don't think the back heel touched. But at the midway mark of the second half, Georgetown with an 11-point lead looking for 13. Michael Jackson was just one of six in the first half. Reggie Williams, another hoop for Williams. Right here with 7.23 left. Man-to-man, -man. Ewing, quadruple team. Jackson keeps it alive on the dribble. Underneath was Reggie Williams all along. Got it to him too late. Reggie looking for a career high. He's got it. 23 points for Williams. Not late enough for St. John. Another block by Ewing as Mullen is stuck. Two on one. The Hoyas are flying. Ashes will be happy if they do lose. Does he? Has he said he will take it off if they lose? I think his wife will make him marry. Wingate. Banks it in. And the Hoyas. We're number one, and as of this moment, they truly are. Bill. We concur. Remember Phil Forward, North Carolina, with the four to score. Very tough in the middle. Chris Mullen just giving that one there. Tough night for Chris and the Johnnies. And look at the Georgetown pitch over there, and of course, their supporters. A tip of the cap to John Thompson. Great preparation for putting on the sweater. 
not totally losing control of what amounted to a five-point play. And then clearly dominated with his center, with Reggie Williams, and with the rest of this finely tuned Hoya machine. Remember, they are the defending champs. A lot of weaker clubs and coaches with that five-point change may have lost the game. They are, and he is, strong enough to overcome even a play like that. Well, St. John's fans have one consolation as the last television timeout is taken. One consolation. St. John's is still in first place.